And a fast drying cement is helping one company solidify its profit. It's an unlikely weapon for troops who are fighting overseas, and now it's poised to help this country fix our aging infrastructure. The Wall Street Journal's Wendy Bounds standing by to bring us more only right here on the call. Well, more than a dozen people killed and more than 100 injured after a 40-year-old bridge collapsed in Minnesota. Uh, but now a disaster like that one may be prevented in the future thanks to one company's quick-drying cement, of all things. How one small business is coming to the rescue, literally. The Wall Street Journal's Wendy Bounds has some details on that. You're watching CNBC, first in business worldwide. Keep an eye on what the Dow's doing, but in the meantime, a small, relatively unknown cement company is quickly gaining traction uh, in the U.S. with its line of repair products. Saratech Incorporated's fast-drying cement is enabling U.S. soldiers overseas to repair roads and facilities before insurgents plant IEDs, or those improvised explosive devices. But the fast-drying cement is also helping to solve one of the latest problems here at home, aging bridges and infrastructure. Here with more on the company is Wendy Bounds of the Wall Street Journal. She writes about this in today's issue of the paper. Interesting story and uh, interesting how it started with a guy who graduated from West Point not long ago, right? right now he's coming full, full circle. I mean, we're going to start seeing a lot of investment opportunity in the infrastructure back here at home after what happened in Minnesota. This is a company that makes cement. Cement is a fundamental building block of concrete. We make our bridges, we make our roadways off of that. The key to this one is it's very fast drying. Now, why is that important? Overseas is important, just as you noted. You get it in there, it keeps the insurgents from throwing throwing their bombs or their IEDs in the wet, in the wet which concrete. Which is their tactic. Which is their tactic. They do that, they bury, and with it doesn't dry fast enough, the soldiers have to stand out there, protect it, that puts them in danger. And also then, of course, uh, another vehicle's driving across, it explodes later. Back home, though, why is it important? The, the DOT officials I've talked to, they need to get these bridges and roadways fixed, and they need to get them fast. One, the traffic gets backed up. That's a headache for all of us who are driving. But also, it puts the guys who are out there working in danger, and it's also a loss of revenue. It's a loss of toll dollars. So about 36 states are testing this company, Ceratex products. They basically make this stuff out of Baltimore. And the officials that I've talked to have said they're having pretty good results with it so far. How does this, uh, well, he's a 23-year Army vet? Yes, he's a 23-year Army vet, a West How Point graduate. How does he get started in the, in the cement, in the cement business? He actually came in as this company had a patent. There was uh, some patents on the cement. They were already out there. He came in. He learned about that. They hired him on, brought him on as a CEO, the guy to make things happen. He's not the guy who, like, invented it, but he's the one who's sort of getting it into the hands of the DOT And he's officials. up against some pretty big names, right? He is, Carl, because, you know, this is a do the cement industry is dominated by a lot of big players, and he's got to basically come up against these, and he's flown under the radar for a little while, and now he's starting to come out with this, which is very smart because they didn't, like, pick off his technology, and he got some brand equity up there fast. Uh, is it something that is, that is being bought? in mass right here at home or do they still want data on its safety overall over time that kind of thing they're going to continue collecting data they've been making tweaks to how well the product works they've had about six million in sales most of that was overseas but now they expect to double that this year rolling out in bulk as you said in bulk is what they need to do to get this stuff out there again some real investment opportunities and business opportunities in yeah. this in this sector talk about topical uh, yes. really interesting stuff <laughs> right. wendy thank you very Thanks. much wendy bounds of the wall street journal